executions. Right to execution, what's, what's execution specifically? Execution is how we go about doing it. Okay. How we go about achieving our mission, ground situation mission, execution. How we go about making this thing actually happen. So we've suggested we've got some computers upstairs, we've got filmmakers, we've got a space that we can actually use, we've got venues we can uh, reach out to. So ground situation mission, execution, administration, who's going to do what, who have we got to do what, where can we find people who have got the equipment that we need, logistics, how do we actually physically make it happen, mm -hmm. you know, and, and how we're going to make this thing really work. Uh, and then, ground situation, mission, administration, log, and then after that, questions. So, if you're going to start a briefing, well, not now, I'm just giving you a mnemonic to work to. So, when you do do a thing like this, this is how you start it. It works for the army when they're doing big projects and you're going to go and put up a water point or execute. A, so it's the same thing we were talking about going to that tree, wood tree thing. If you go through this mnemonic, ground, where the tree project is, the situation there is they started a project, they dug it all over, they've got some grounds that have been left more down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our mission is to bring it forward, uh -huh. make it work. Yeah. In, in order to do that, we've got to find out how we're going to execute it. We need to reach out to people, get the people on board, what people are interested, what groups might we need to bring on board, um, and transport to and from the place, and everything else where it is. Logistically, that will come in ground, locations. Uh, Administration and logistics, that includes what equipment's going to be required, whether you need tools, shovels, uh, other bits and pieces. Do we need safety boots? Are there any uh, obstacles to our progressing with this project? Administration, logistics, how we're going to do it? Who's got the equipment that we need? After that, to make sure everybody knows what's going to happen, questions. So any questions that anybody has, this is the time to answer. So whoever's planning the project, whoever's doing the briefing, be prepared to answer the questions. This is just a brief introduction to a situation. Just remember it, geese me at you. That's all it is. Geese me at you. Okay, can, can we just go back to the top again and a little bit more detail for Solutions oh, on TV? I did want to take up all the no, time. No, 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 this is really... I mean, I, I'm, my old man was in the military as well. I knew a military. I really like making things work well and learning from previous things and stuff. So just on Solutions on TV... Let's start with a little bit more expansion on what the ground would be than the situation. One second. Brother, do you want to just I, introduce yourself? So, yeah, my name's Tom. Uh, I have a background in film and TV and stuff, so Ned. Oh. thought it'd be a good... Oh, good man, Ned. ...place for me to be. But, um, yeah, if you're happy for me to... Right, yeah, most welcome. T Tom, yeah? Yeah, Tom, yeah. OK. Yeah. Very, very briefly, Hello, Solutions Tom. Development Group to create Solutions Zone TV. Great. We create the Solutions Networking website, a YouTube channel, later on a studio show. I'll do, it. I'll do that through this. I'll Thanks, use Dave. it particularly to this uh, Solutions Development Group. Ground. In this case, we'll take our web presence. <coughs> what we've got, we've got a website, Solutions TV, whatever it is, yeah? Ground. That is what we've got. The situation at the moment is, it is a website, it does exist, and we now need to boost the content and make an outreach. So mm -hmm. our ground is the website presence, situation is the situation we find ourselves in. The situation we are in now is in a brainstorming session, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to try and find out what we can do to make this uh, solutions, TV, solutions website actually take off as our situation. Our situation at the moment is that we are in a desperate position with regards to environment and our economic mm. strategies and as far as the general public are aware they don't seem to have a voice. Are we trying to do that? Is that the situation yes. at the moment we're trying to reach out to the general public? Our mission, should you choose to accept, accept it, it. <laughs> is to provide the content for that web space and to make it accessible for those that we want to reach out to. We're not trying to preach to the audience that we already have. Most of us are interconnected one way or other anyway. What we want to do is reach out to a much, much broader base. So if it means sexing it up or getting something in, whether it means bringing in, uh, getting parties or awareness groups or creative forums or anything else and bringing groups yep, yep. in, that is our mission, is to bring them people. How are we going to do it now, right? That's the execution part of what we're going to do. So having discussed what we're going to do, we've got YouTube channels and studio things like that. Now we've got to move into the actual execution phase, right? So we know what we want to do. Now we're going to figure out how we're actually going to do it. How are we going to make these things happen? 
And in order to make these things happen, we need to have personnel on board. So in order to do that, we need to have emails, we need to have contacts, we need to have lists of all the people that we can contact, build up lists of all the groups that we want to be in contact with, find out we're not going to uh, reinvent the wheel, let's find out who's already doing something like this and can we learn from them, can we pick them up. So before we go any further, we've got to do our homework and find out what already exists out there. Yeah. yeah? And then try and bring them all together into one lump. So there's strength in numbers, the more of us we can find, the more of us we can identify, the easier it will be to execute our mission, which is to reach out to a broader public. After we've discussed that, at the moment, we haven't got to the execution phase. How are we going to make this happen? We've already seen we have a possibility to make a proper TV studio here. We've talked about going out and making video vlogs. Somehow or other, we've got to bring that together, and then we've got to concentrate on administration. Who's going to be responsible for correlating all the uh, information and we're getting in? Have we got a webmaster? Have we got a developer? Have we got an editor-in-chief? Do we have a command and control structure? for what actually goes onto the website. Uh, are we going to fall out amongst each other about some films going in that we don't like and some video content that we don't like? And trust me, as soon as you start to put stuff up there, you are going to get a lot of negativity. You know that very well. People have tried to do it. As soon as you try and put something out there, someone's going to complain. It's either sexist, it's feminist, or it's anti-vegan, or it's pro this, that, or the other. So we've got to look at how we're going to do it. Who's going to be responsible for doing it? The so roles and responsibilities. Roles and responsibilities comes under administration. Logistics. How much is it going to cost for a stop? Can we do it? Have we got the manpower to do it? Can it be done with our, within our existing budget? Do we have the equipment? Do we have the expertise? And uh, etc. All the other things that go with actually making this thing happen. We haven't got to the part of that yet. We've got to help what we've got on the solutions, what we'd like to see, what's out there, but how we're going to make it work, we haven't actually got anywhere near that yet. So really, we're only on the mission phase of this at the moment. We know what we want to do, but actually how we're going to do it, who's going to do it, and where we're going to get the stuff from, we haven't even got there yet. Right? After that, once we've answered all these questions, then we have any questions, anything that's outstanding anything that we might not have covered, any problems that you see we may have come up to. So, if we are going to work through a program and stick to something, we need to cover all these bit by bit by bit. Let's tell you one a proper briefing. This is a, not only the army do that, any corporation would use the same sort of new money. This is what we could do. If you're launching a new product, you'd have to go through the same thing. What's the consumer bias in the area? What's the demographic of an area? Who are we trying to talk to? Who are we trying to reach out to? Someone put a program out there about cleaning up the canal. First question is, what's in it for me? How am I going to benefit? Bottom line, what's in it for me? How am I going to benefit? Who's going to pay? Where's the equipment coming from? And is there tea and coffee available? Is there someone going to change? Who's got the safety boots, the equipment, the high beam lists? All the rest of it that might go with it. And we've got to look at any obstacles to achieving our mission. That hasn't come in here. What are our enemies? Who are the people that are liable to put a kibosh on it? What are the local objections to what we're trying to do? And there will be, you know, in other ways. Um, so the oil industry doesn't want you to network 300 different energy sources? Not really. And, and there might be toes you're treading on one way or another. You know, you might be hit with a lawsuit, something you didn't even think about. You know, you're trying to push one particular project and you're treading on someone else's toes. Is what you're doing going to affect the local commerce? Are you going to upset a businessman around here somewhere? You might even think you might want to put a, a vegan night on or open up a free cafe. Are you going to affect local businesses? Are you going to take away some of them? They might be people that might be your friends, but as soon as you start encroaching on their profit, you've made an enemy. So we have to look at that. That's all part of the ground. When you do it ground, you've got to look at what's available, who's doing it. I was talking about the Solutions TV. Yeah. When the ground, who's already doing it on the internet? Do we know right. who's already doing it? Look, direct, direct point to that one there came up for me a couple. There's one group, Positive TV. I mean, obviously, you've got, you know, uh, Vision on TV has done a certain amount of this already, filming uh, eco villages. They used to have money as well. Like that. Yeah. We've done all this. Positive TV used to pay me money every week.
Two, two other you, big ones. Replicate was, um, successful previous attempts. <laughs> so two it's always good to replicate ones. previous right, ideas. Yes, good yes. idea. Uh, um, what made them successful, though? So we got to put down. That's an interesting point. That, that is why outside back with a gate and tens of thousands of pounds. Okay, let me give you one prime example. That's but soon, a model but soon ran out because the model wasn't geared on any other uh, thing. Al Jazeera. <laughs> Al Jazeera. Let me just bang oh, in the positive models. Yeah, yeah. And Al Jazeera have done something called Earthrise. And they started after we started this project. Uh, we were talking about it back at Copenhagen. And the other one, it's not very good, but it's CNN, they're called Eco Solutions. And that's very corporate and not very much stuff in it. But Al Jazeera is very strong. They're like 20 minute, half an hour programs. They go all over the world. Trouble is, it's buried. By oil. Al Jazeera is completely owned by. Yeah. As a content. That's some journalism to do that. It shows that they are taught that big. Groups like Al Jazeera are talking about solutions. Yeah. Was a big, you know, it's a good thing to see. Another one is Positive Just, TV. They were doing stuff quite a few years. Right, so I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Positive Russia TV today, do, have, do have a solution today, section yeah. as well, and they're up for working reverse linking up somehow. So I just want to introduce yourself, uh, Greg. Uh, nice to see you. How you doing, there, Mark? Uh, I'm James. Yeah. I'm David. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> We've been chatting about 